Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about the axillary nerve under the heads of uh, root value, cores, and branches. So, axillary nerve is also known as circumflex nerve. Circumflex nerve. Axillary nerve is named axillary because it runs in the axilla. It lies in the axilla. and it is named as circumflex nerve because it courses around courses around the neck of humerus now we'll come to the main part first point is root value so root value is ventral sorry ventral rami of segment c5 and c6 then course in axilla here it arises as the small terminal branch terminal branch of posterior cord of brachial plexus in the axilla it arises as terminal branch of posterior cord of brachial plexus it passes in the quadrangular space and it lies below the capsule here it lies below the capsule of shoulder joint quadrangular space is the space present in the axilla so axillary nerve passes through this space and it lies below the capsule of shoulder joint then uh, then it comes to the surgical neck of humerus surgical neck of humerus it courses around this neck and courses around this neck of humerus and it gives two branches anterior and posterior division at the level of surgical neck of humerus it divides into anterior and posterior branches now we'll discuss about branches so firstly muscular muscular branches it gives branch to deltoid muscle then teres minor here there is a presence of a pseudo ganglion this nerve is characterized characterized by presence of pseudo ganglion then so these are the muscular branches now cutaneous so cutaneous branch are the uh, branches are supplying the upper lateral part upper lateral part of the arm then comes articular articular branches they supply shoulder joint and 
lastly vascular branch in the quadrangular space it gives a posterior circumflex uh, branch gives branch for posterior circumflex artery we'll revise in the diagram so uh, axillary artery arises in the axilla sorry axillary nerve arises in the axilla then it gives a branch to teres minor here is the pseudo ganglion i'll name it branch to teres minor with pseudo ganglion then it descends it lies here in the quadrangular space and gives a branch for posterior circumflex artery branch to posterior circumflex artery and then lastly it gives a branch for deltoid muscle and then it continues as upper lateral cutaneous nerve lies as upper lateral cutaneous nerve in this way discussion of, of uh, axillary nerve is completed thanks for watching